It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and is it 1975 all over again? I've just found a beer in Home Bargains for 75 pence. Yes, I kid you not. But the best part about this, or maybe the worst part about this, is that I was in Home Bargains just a week or so ago and I actually seen this for 69 pence. So the beer's actually gone up in price by 6p since I was there a week ago. But regardless to that, Home Bargains, 75 pence for a can of beer. There is a reason for that though. It is Mean Time Brewing Company's Prime Pale, American Pale Ale, at 4.3% ABV. Three hundred and thirty milliliter can. Mean Time London. So did it with a clock. So the clocks are set. British Mean Time. I'm not great with history. Let's get the beer out into a glass. See what we get. So, I can talk to you all an awful lot about Mean Time Brewing Company. If you want to have a, lis a listen. First of all, the beer in the glass for 75 pence. So I got a mate. I play snooker with him. He used to be a beer reviewer on YouTube, Real Alien 140. He sent me this Viber message. Oh, you've got, they've got this beer for like 69 pence in Home Bargains. And I was like, oh, I'll get that. I had a look. Oh, I was walking, had my rucksack full already. I'll, I'll come back next week. I'll buy it next week. Yeah, but it's gone up by, by six p still so seven seventy five pence. This is my point. Seventy five pence. One finger white head. Amber coloured beer, good levels of carbonation. How can it be seventy five pence then? Well let's give it a bit of a rating first, a bit of a review. Smells perfectly acceptable. Smells a little bit like Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale. Combination of good quality malts. Maybe a touch of brewing syrups. A little bit of sweetness coming through. But not just the sweetness, but just like a, a slight kind of artificial sweetness. Which I always put down to brewing syrup. And a lovely kind of jammy, it's like grapefruit, plum, hoppy aroma to the back end, to the finish of the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. You're thinking you're probably rubbing your eyes at this point, thinking how can a beer be the be that good and be 75 pence for a can? Well, and this is the I suppose this is the bad news. Um, Asahi purchased Meantime Brewing Company probably five, six years ago. These breweries, these big multi-conglomerates breweries have great intentions when they first buy these breweries, don't they? Um, it's obviously gone wrong somewhere along the line because in early 2024, maybe even late 2023, Asahi announced that they were closing Meantime Brewing Company. So what we're seeing here is an exercise of the closed down process of this brewery. The first thing Asahi have done, they've gone into the brewery and they've gone, right, we need to clear this stock. We need to clear this stock out of here yesterday. Because when these companies make a decision to close a brewery, 
It's not just like a slow process. It's like, what a bang, boom, gone, finished. So they've obviously contacted somebody like Home Bargains. Home Bargains specialise. I used to buy these wonderful, during the 2000, the very early 2000, the boom years, as I called them, where everybody, house prices were doubling every year and, and everybody had money. You used to find money literally lying in the pennies, lying in the streets here in Barry. You could, you could walk from over to the shop and by the time you go to the shop, you'd pick up enough pennies to buy a 30 pence newspaper. It was that bonkers back in the day. I used to do it most days. But anyway, I used to buy this lovely, and because because everybody had money, there were companies that were producing stuff that was that was lovely and great and, and wonderful. And I used to buy this lovely soup. It would come in a real weird shaped pot, and but the soup inside was fantastic. Really good. When the 2008 financial crisis hit, most of these companies, luxury companies, they didn't make it, they went bust. The everyman luxury companies. So I went into Home Baggins one day, I was paying £2.50 for this really lovely soup. Went into Home Baggins, it was 69 pence. 69 pence, and I never saw that soup again. When you bought that soup, once it had gone, it had gone. Um, from £2.50 to 69 pence, Bang, gone. And this is what this is this is what's happened here with the meantime brewery. Where's the can? Um, this was probably retailing in places for probably one pound eighty. One pound eighty, maybe even two pounds a can. Decent enough beer, nothing wrong with the product whatsoever. It's just a case of Asahi going there we go, that's the end of you. So how do we get to this point and what's the history of meantime? Look at this beer. It's great. Get down to home bargains. Literally clear the shelf. Clear the shelf. There's nothing suspect. There's nothing wrong with the beer. It's just, and I dare I say it, it's just business. Asahi have made the decision to get rid of the stock. It's in home bargains. Buy it whilst you can. Clear your shelves for 75p. So, um, my my understanding with Meantime is that, well, my first thing with Meantime was they used to sell beautiful bottles in, in Waitrose. Back in 2010, lovely Belgian-shaped bottles of their chocolate porter. Meantime's chocolate porter was synonymous with the early craft beer movement. It was beautiful. Then the, the it was, you know, it might have even been called that. It, they had a green labelled bottle of a, of, a, of a pale ale and it might, even, might have even been that in Waitrose. And I was probably, probably, probably paying £2 back, back in 2000, 2010 for it. Um... They carried on producing really good beers, and that's where they got their reputation from, producing these really good beers for Waitrose. They skipped Tesco, they skipped Morrison's, they stuck with Waitrose, and that's where the kind of, that's where Asahi came in. Asahi came in and purchased them because of the level of quality, where they were, and they had a great reputation, yeah, and uh, it was about the time it was about the time when Beaver Town were bought by Heineken for forty million pounds. Fullers were already probably purchased by then by Asahi. There was a lot of big breweries that were late to the game. They didn't realise that craft beer was going to be a big thing until it was almost too late for them. So what the big breweries do, big multi-conglomerate breweries do, they they come along and they they just go, right, we're late to the game. We can't afford to kind of like, or we're too slow to, 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 to produce our own beers quickly. We'll just snap up, we'll just buy 
great craft brewers. And that's what they did with Meantime Brewing Company, Asahi, Heineken bought Beaver Town, Asahi bought then Fuller's. Um, and and it, it never quite worked out for them. It never quite worked out for them because of, I'd say the last five years really, the last five years has been incredibly difficult for the British brewing industry. From 2019, with the whole situation, as I like to call it, to Brexit, leaving the European Union. And then we've had this cost of living thing going on, and now a recession. And I think Asahi have just gone, it's just a bit too much. It's just a little bit too much for us. It's just, we can put another year in. It's a meantime brewing company. So unfortunately, they've closed the brewery. They've got rid of their stock. They've gone, right, okay, the first thing we need to do, get rid of this stock, get it shipped out. And they contact somebody like Home Bargains, a bit like that soup I was talking about earlier on. They contact Home Bargains. Home Bargains will take all that stock very, very quickly for a cheap price. And that's why you're seeing the beer at 75 pence on the shelf at Home Bargains and 69 pence the week before because they bought a job lot of this from Asahi. They brought the whole load of this and they've stuck it on the shelves for cheap. And that's what home baggings are really good at. There's nothing wrong with the beer. This is what I'm trying to say here. There's nothing wrong with the beer. The beer is absolutely delicious and even more delicious for 75 pence. If I've I met somebody at Meantime Brewing Company in Belgium in Leuven at a beer festival. We had a, we had a great few, few hours together drinking and, and having fun and talking. And he was talking to me about the whole Asahi kind of purchase and how things have changed very quickly under Asahi for Meantime Brewing Company. But if there's anybody else that I've met or if anybody else is watching from Meantime Brewing Company that may be watching this video, then, then all the very best for the future. I really do mean that for you. Um, the British brewing industry is in, like any other industry I suppose in the UK, is it, it's difficult at the moment, it's really really difficult. So um, rating for this beer then, I'd say a 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10 for Meantime's Prime Pale, American Pale at 4.3% ABV. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.